Hey guys, this is Tech Commander coming to you with another repair. Today we'll be tearing down the PlayStation 4. Tools needed for this teardown will be a Phillips Zero screwdriver, Torx T8 driver, microfiber cloth, compressed air, soft toothbrush, thermal paste, and 91-99% to isopropyl alcohol. We'll remove the cover that's over the hard drive. In green will be the Phillips and the red will be the T8. Unscrew the Phillips Zero screw from the hard drive caddy and slide that drive out. Then remove the two T8 screws that hold down the top housing. After those are removed, we're going to turn to the back of the PS4 and remove these four T8 screws. The two screws in the center are usually covered by a security sticker that will have writing on it and then the two on the outside on the bottom lid will have black stickers over them. Now you want to pry up the front corner of the top housing. It'll take some force, but it'll lift up and it'll be removed as long as all the screws are going. Flip it over and now remove the bottom housing. Now we're going to remove the power supply. You're going to want to unplug the small cable on the side. Now we're going to remove two Phillips screws and three T8 screws. Now to remove the power supply, you'd want to lift up under the tab that the T8 screws were in, apply some upward force, and you should get it out. There are three cables that you're going to want to remove. The Blu-ray power cable, the Blu-ray data cable, and the Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna cable. You're going to want to push down on this metal tab and then pull the Blu-ray data cable out. Next, you're going to want to remove the Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna. I just use a screwdriver, just put it right underneath the cable itself and lift up and it should pop out. After that, we're going to remove the Blu-ray power cable. Just use a screwdriver, put it underneath, press on top and start your lift up. More of a pinching technique. Now we're going to remove the Blu-ray data cable from the Blu-ray drive itself. Set that aside. Remove the Blu-ray power cable from the Blu-ray drive itself by pulling on the cable. I use a screwdriver to put it underneath and slightly pinch so I can pull from the top and from the bottom. Now we're going to remove the Blu-ray drive itself. We'll start with this T8 screw. followed by this one. Then this T8 screw, which also holds in the Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna. We'll remove the antenna at this point. Moving back to the top corner of the Blu-ray drive, we'll remove the T8 screw. In the center, there's a small Phillips head screw. You can still use the Phillips Zero screwdriver. Now that all the screws are removed, you can just pry up on the Blu-ray drive and it should pop right out. Lift the corners, you're good to go. Now we'll flip it over and start removing the top housing. There are 12 T8 screws and two Phillips screws. You'll start by disconnecting the power for the cooling fan, followed by the two Phillips screws for the CPU clamp. Next, you'll start removing the 12 T8 screws around the motherboard.
remove the top cage, turn it over, and you'll see these gray or black pads. These are called thermal pads. These pads help to keep the chips cool, so if you lose any, you can't find them, you can reorder a set off of eBay or Amazon. Turn the board over, you'll see a set of thermal pads again, either on the board itself or on the bottom cage. Next, you'll be removing the bottom plate, which is also attached to the heatsink. These three screws are Phillips screws. Lift it out, flip it over, you'll see your heatsink. Next, you'll remove the fan. Next, remove these two Phillips screws in order to get the fan out. Looking at the fan, we can see it's dusty. You can use some compressed air or an air compressor. Just blow all that dust out. Find a little dust bunny in there. Keeping your PS4 dust free is the most important thing you can do. That dust builds up and it blocks your heat sink and air can't flow over those fins so it will overheat. That's mainly what your overheating issues are. I'll move on to cleaning the fan itself. Wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, get all the dust I can get off there. Then I'll uh, use the compressed air, just blow that out, get a lot of the extra dust that's in there. It, it does get caked up over time, does build. Use a toothbrush just to you know scrub between those fins, try to get out as much dust as I can, make it look as clean as possible. Next, you'll move on to the heat sink. You really want to make sure this gets clean. This gets real packed up with dust over time. Once that's all clean, you just uh, start the reassembly. Do everything backwards. Start with your fan. Then the bottom plate for your heat sink. Want to wipe off the old thermal paste that's on the heat sink itself. Use a microfiber cloth with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. You want to clean off your APU. You can use a microfiber cloth with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Be very careful. You don't want to knock off any of the small chips on the board. After it's nice and clean, you'd want to add a nice fresh pea size of thermal paste. You want to flip the board over, line up that little cable with the last slot. Everything should fall in place, nice and smooth. Plug in your heatsink fan. Place your top cage back on there. Add your clamps for your APU. Screw those in. Then start screwing in the T8 screws around the frame and around the motherboard. Flip your console over, reroute your wire for your Blu-ray power cable. Insert your Blu-ray drive. Screw in the Phillips screw. Screw in your T8 screws. Connect your power cable for your Blu-ray. Place your Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna on top and screw that in with the T8 screw. Route your cable back on the bottom. Then plug it back into the board. Plug in the power cable for your Blu-ray drive into the board. Plug the Blu-ray data cable into the Blu-ray drive, then plug it into the board. Take some compressed air, blow out your power supply. Plug in the small accessory cable on the side of the power supply and then place it straight down. Screw in the T8 screws. Screw in your two Phillip head screws. At this point, you're finished with the bottom so you can add on the bottom housing. You can screw in three of the black T8 screws that were originally there. 
flip it over, add your hard drive caddy, screw that in with the Phillips screw. You want to put back your top housing, the little openings go to the back of the PS4, slide that on the back, push it down, screw in your two T8 screws, and slide on your side cover. And then you just finish it off by screwing in the last black T8 screw on the back. And that's your PS4 Teradyne and reassembly. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment, let me know why. If there's any repairs you want to see in the future, leave that in the comments below. But this is Tech Commander. Until next time, I'll see you in the next repair.